welcome to my channel again it's just a catering channel um today i'll be showing you how i make my turkey stew and these are the list of my ingredients and i started by marinating with this maggi um maggi powder chicken powder curry and the complete season from this company and i'm going to show you how i blend my pepper first i start with these cornish bonnets your Cornish bonnet it depends in on how much you consume pepper. Here I'm using about seven and I put in my ginger and I'm going to break my red cap, cut it into a smaller bit. I'm cutting it, just chop it whichever with your hands, with your knife, with your scissors, whichever one is comfortable by you. Then my um, three medium size of onions was peeled ahead of um, the cooking tutorial. Just chop it in the mediums in the smaller bits. So one of the um, pre in if if you like to blend your pepper to a very smooth form is for you to start first with the pepper the onions the ginger whatever you're adding or if you're adding garlic blend them with little water first do not put the tomatoes just blend that on its own alone then you see the difference because it allow it enables um, the pepper to blend very very well i guess i forgot to turn my video on sorry about that my camera on so you do the first one and now I'm going to open the um, tin tomatoes, the plum tomatoes and the tin. One of the reasons I, I just like to rinse the top is, you know, when you go to the supermarket or where it's been stored, you have a lot of um, things um, that is not LD, some bacteria that might get in, in, in contact with them, different ants different on hygiene process so I always wash my can before I open it so try to put that into consideration when you're cooking you know the storage the warehouse you have mouse and everything that probably might have worked on the can so I'm blending my pepper my tomato now so you just have to learn to separate your tomato blend it separately then blend the pepper which is the Scottish bonnet, the onions, the ginger, and the sweet um, red cap on its own. That way it enables it to blend properly. So, now it's time to boil the pepper. Just pour in the remaining one. And in this video, I'm making like about um, 5 liter of stew. About 4 to 5 liter of stew, of stew size. So, turn on the heat. And it starts boiling from here. I leave it to boil for like about 10-15 minutes. Then now I'm stirring. Stir properly, evenly. And leave it to keep on cooking. So it's been left for a while now. Now I'm going to put my bay leaf. There's a couple of bay leaves. And now I'm going to put my Maggie cubes. If you've noticed, I like using the combination of beef and chicken cubes in my cooking. So just peel in the cubes. Then followed by adding my oil. I use corn oil for my personal cooking or olive oil. But some of my clients do ask for their preferred kind of oil. Some ask for olive oil, which costs um, a bit extra. So it depends on what you want if you're considering of um, contracting your catering to horse. So I left it to boil. And I'm back to it now. So the oil and the maggie was um, left to boil for like about five minutes three to five minutes 
it's there and now this is the trick do you know more than me first you have to try this to see the difference so i'm going to just put the turkey in it's unusual i guess yes but some people might know about this trick i just figured it out one day i don't need to boil my turkey before cooking it because why because they are quite thin there and when you cook it and you know when it started getting too soft you don't like the taste so i just discovered one day that i'm going to try this method and i tried it and i like it so i didn't boil my turkey before putting it in the sauce so i just seasoned it and i left it for like 20 minutes then this is my turkey i'm putting into the tomato pepper sauce after it's been boiling for like about 15 minutes and all the other ingredients was added like the maggi the hoi to cook for like 15 18 minutes now is the turkey time so you leave it in make sure at this point you're putting your turkey your pepper is not too watery it stick to your preferred choice not too thick not too watery but you know in a medium kind of level I need to put more oil so I'm adding more at this point and I'm going to cover it and leave it to cook believe me when you try this you're going to love it it is actually very tasty and different a lot of friends that had come to my to my house to visit and try this, I fell in love with it. So you can also try it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm making the video of it. So it's still cooking. I stirred first. And I'm going to stir again. Yep, I'm going to cover it again, and at this point, I just want to turn down the heat, so it just keeps um cooking and simmer. You see, even without tasting it, it actually looks beautiful, and believe me, it tastes really good. So you see, at this point, you don't have a the soggy kind of stew kind of um, turkey when you eat it. So I've turned in the eight. That is the end of the cooking. I just clean the edges of the pots and this is it. It's as simple as ABC. So I had my wait, my burger weights. So I'm so else conscious but you can have it whichever way. This is how I make my turkey stew. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Remember to share with friends and family and click the like button and the notification button. See you again pretty soon. I love you. Thank you.